Hello. Yes, hello. This is Grimsby Fish Dock Enterprises. Um, could you come over as soon as possible? We need another ice machine installing urgently. Small could save the day for one and all. A fast install is what's required. A prompt solution is desired. We need more ice. What can we do? Said the man in the white hat and the man in the blue. And as they stood there looking worried, above them all our icy friend hurried and scurried round. A man possessed with zing and zest, taking their rest. Another ice machine is needed, and so unheeded he proceeded to bang and fix, apply and wire, attach and turn. He did not tire of work nor shirk his obligation until the machine activation and successful operation but had he solved the situation and thus with great anticipation he went to look at his creation then appeared in a trice a single piece of perfect ice meanwhile the other ice machines began producing ice it seemed at first to mumble then to grumble and as the room began to rumble a mass of ice began to tumble no time to crumble or stumble or fumble he jumped on the conveyor belt afraid his precious ice would melt away his chance to save the day would go astray and so he made to carry on without delay complete his mission or come what may I sighed, the ice is pouring out, there's plenty now without a doubt. But one more piece should do the trick, he's nearly there, and in the nick of time to boot, he's down the chute en route, to ending his pursuit. And so, by pure determination, he's nearly reached his destination, his donation hoisted high, his footing firm, he's stepping spry, and finally has come the time to place his ice, his load sublime upon the fish, a job well done, a battle won, as one by one the crates turn cold, the fish are sold, a triumph of temperature controlled. And so our story's nearly told, as crates and fish outside are rolled. This is the story of how one so small could save the day for one and all. This is the story of how one so small could save the day for one and all. In the cold reaches of space, an ancient race of oxygen-based life forms regarded the Earth with warm, envious eyes. Their mission, to make the planet their new home. But first, they would have to rid the world of all things cold in order for them to create a habitable environment. For they were beings composed almost entirely of fire. But they themselves were being watched from deep underground by the totally mythical government department known as MI-26, who contacted warmth deflection specialists, Zegra, for they alone knew the one man who could save the world.